but it's, you know, I mean, who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? I should really make these cuter because they're really ugly, but anyway. <laughs> Stop playing like nothing off of the bar. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is living their best life and if you aren't, please do something today to put you on the path of living your best life. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my hair some necessary TLC after this protective style. Right now, I'm just taking down the braids. Alright guys, so I'm finally done taking down all my braids and I went ahead and just detangled everything with a wide tooth comb. I didn't shed a lot of hair, surprisingly. I shed uh, about the <laughs> average amount, I guess, for myself over the last two months that I've had these in, two to three months. Because I put them in at the end of February and it is the first week of May. And now I'm going to go wash my hair with some Castile soap. Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Castile soap. Castile soap. Castile soap. Castile soap. Castile soap. Some Castile soap. Carry on. I'm back. So now I'm just going to go ahead and deep condition my hair. I'm going to be using the Mayel Babusu. Oh no. Baba. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Babasu. And mint deep conditioner. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And I already I watered it down a little bit, so it's gonna be extra loose. Cause I just wanna use the last little bit before I open up my new jar. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hair in different sections. I'm probably gonna do about six sections. First, put down my hair. Your first that you um you had first put my hair down the middle, and then go ahead and just put those halves into three. And then apply it like that, how I normally do. And then after I apply it, I'm going to go ahead and put some grocery bags on my hair just to make sure that everything is heated up. And I'm probably going to leave it on my hair for about three hours. So let's get started. He whispered in my ear and he pulled me up so close. He covered up my face. Before 
Don't worry, you'll have the drugs and prescribed I need to be with you daily A silver line in the sky A holiday in my mind A reason for me to try You're like the moon on the tide I'm far away but you're pulling Gravity's losing its mind The way you lift all my feelings Can't find the words to describe But with you everything's right uh, Yeah, don't let the sun kiss you before I do Yeah, the sun sets every evening But I'll never leave you Oh, don't let the sun kiss you before I do yeah, the sun sets every evening, but I'll never leave you Hey boo of it, that's true. Great. Wow, oh, cool the fear of property, yeah, we poverty, I'm making with people. the fear. What the heck are you saying oh. now? <laughs> what did I say? You said, wow, the fear of poverty. No, what did I say? You said, wow. No, I did not. If you, if you said, I, I you said, said, wow. You said, wow, the fear of poverty. I said, wow, the fear of poverty. Said, wow, whip the fear Why do you of have poverty. that? Why do you have that on your wall? Because it's a man. Because it was, it was from the book. This is the book I was talking about. Highly recommend. Okay, back to the video. There's six fears. Get along with whatever wealth you can accumulate. Without worry. I saw something about that on something, but I don't remember. Maybe you should really make these cuter because they're really ugly. But anyway, <laughs> nothing which life. I wrote. I wrote it from the book. <laughs> you know, for There's you to be years. like so artistic and be able to draw, you really like make like this is not giving anything. I ain't trying to give nothing. You should. So anyway. Okay guys, so this is the next day and this is what my hair is looking like. I went ahead and washed my hair with the apple and aloe shampoo by Talia Wajid. It's heck of water down. Don't mind it. I didn't do any conditioner because it felt pretty conditioned after the whole conditioning process as well as the oil treatment. Okay, so after I did the deep conditioning, I went ahead and did an oil treatment on my hair. The same type of oil treatment that I featured on my channel before and it will be linked in the eye icon on the right, I think. On the right, if you're looking at the video, and then my left. Okay, it'll be in the eye icon. <laughs> but yeah, I just did the basic oil treatment after I deep conditioned my hair. But I lost the footage, and I have no clue where it's at. So, yeah. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just style it. So, to style my hair today, I'm going to be using the Maya Moisture Hawaiian Ginger Hair Butter. As well as the Talia Wajid Curl Sealer. And then on my scalp and my ends especially and also my edges, I'm going to make sure I put on my oil that I use for the oil treatment. Again, the list of oils that I put into this little mixture is going to be listed down below. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and to mention, what's it called? I washed my hair in the six twists. So I washed it and shampooed all my hair out in the six twists. I untwisted it rake the shampoo through, make sure I scrub my scalp, and then I retwisted it up to rinse it out. And then I untwisted it again to make sure everything was good. I mean, I really just, I want to tell him everything I've been feeling about us lately, but I just... I feel like the moment I say something, he'll act like it's too complicated and then just... And like it's a game It's not funny When you try to change the subject Oh, it's not funny I feel like I'm emotionally alone It's not funny But you act like it's a joke oh, And we both know About your emotions, you just go and ride the way. But I'm drowning here in this ocean. Whoa. 
So this is what it's looking like after I put all the product in. So I'm just going to allow this to stay out of my head scar for a few hours until I go to sleep or until at least the sun goes down. And yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow with the results. Alright guys, so this is the next day. This is what it's looking like. It's fully dry and my curls are should pop in. I was a little bit nervous yesterday because especially on this area it just looked extra frizzy. But it looks pretty defined. Just had to let it marinate overnight. <laughs> but yeah, the next hairstyle that I'm probably going to be trying out is just cornrows in general. Because really soon I'm wanting to try out different like hair colors, but I'm not dyeing my hair. So I'm just going to get wigs and try that out. But I want to make sure that my cornrows are, are as like flat as possible. So it looks kind of like it's growing out of my head. Like if people that know about wigs, they're probably going to tell like, oh girl, you got a wig on your head or whatever. It's not going to be any, like, judgment, I hope, <laughs> but I wanted to make it seem as realistic as possible. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Alright, guys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on that post notification bell because I'm planning on posting a lot more, especially on this channel. With that being said, I hope everybody lives their best life. Peace, love, and light to you all. But they don't know you like I do. Wanna sit here and talk with you. As if nothing else matters. Yes, perfect. We're good. That's that's a wrap. <laughs>